What did you just say? I look like a croissant today. <laughs> My skin is flaking so bad. No one can see it on here, but trust me, if you were up close to me, you'd be like, whoa, when did, how long did you have to bake today? I don't know, I interview. I like that. I'm gonna do today. Drive through line. <gasps> starting a new, I'm starting a new series called Drive Through Advice, Drive Through um, Talking, because honestly, there's nothing else we can do right now other than go through drive through lines and curbside, and we can't go inside anywhere, so. This is this is the new thing. What's your order that you're getting here at In-N-Out? The order is, and it can never be another way. If you come to In-N-Out and you don't get animal style, I can be your friend, but I'll definitely question your judgments here on out. That's for sure. I got a cheeseburger animal style and fries. Unfortunately, I'm splitting the fries today to, you know, continue on the journey of health, but doubting that decision, so. And if you ever come to In-N-Out and split fries, I doubt your decisions too, so can't. Like, how do you feel about not traveling, you know, during Corona? Like, you're supposed to be in Europe right now, you're supposed to be in Canada. I feel hot, that's for sure, because I'm still in Texas, and I was supposed to be um, coming home in a few days, so we're going to ignore that. So you're but in Italy right now. I was supposed to be in Italy. It's really, really normal to feel so disappointed and so sad and also like feel like I felt better actually the last two days but like randomly at the end of like a two-month quarantine I felt the worst I felt which is like kind of weird it's like you should have definitely be getting better by then but I actually like felt way worse than I felt in a really long time I had more anxiety than I've had in a really long time and that was that was like really hard because it's like you kind of feel like you should be getting better but I think actually because I I was um really just struggling with the idea like how everything changed and how I wanted things to be so different and I think I I was really really stuck in the idea that things should be very very different than they were so I would recommend to be easier on yourself and to not have to um try not to compare your own life to what it would have been because like that's what I really struggled with was that like comparison like to myself what I planned what I was gonna plan and how I can't plan anything and I can't get out of here because nothing feels well it feels safe to me sort of but I'm still just like concerned about everything so you can't leave <laughs> recommend that you be easy on yourself because that's what I'm trying to do and meditate because lord have mercy that has saved my life meditation has actually saved my soul give the link in the bio yeah I use I use <laughs> Um, not sponsored. Simple habit. Is that it? Hold on. Don't drive through and look at your phone, but I'm just real, I'm easy scrolling and strolling. <laughs> yeah, it's called Simple Habit. That was unnecessary to look it up. I was right. Um, it's called Simple Habit and I will link down below some of my favorite ones because they're so freaking good because my walk with anxiety has been lock at lock walk and long mixed together my walk with anxiety has been really long and it's continuous and I'm still walking it but I can tell you that it will get better but to some degree like I had to kind of put in the work to figure out exactly what was kind of like going on with it and what exactly I was so anxious about and I still have not figured out like the sole reason like but I, I feel like that it's multi-factor. Like, there's so many different things going on. So, bottom line, be easy on yourself and meditate. And it's okay to feel disappointed. Um, it's also okay to cry. Crying helps me. <laughs> um, and, yeah, this is a tough time, everyone. We're going to get through it. We got this. We got this. But it's really hard sometimes. <laughs> Give yourself some space. Oh, no, croissant! Some space, some space. There's a croissant in the car! <laughs> Okay, now I can show you. Okay, it's not, there it is. It's more than that. I, I swear it's more than that. Tell the people, don't look at the camera, look at the road. Croissant take two. Tell the people. Croissant take two. How your In-N-Out was. It was so amazing. I mean, is it ever bad though? Not really. Um, I know I shouldn't be looking at you, but don't worry, it's like a casual glance, you can still see. Um, it was so good. And now I'm running errands, make returns, and um, go to Target. All these things are with a mask, very sanitary. But like you have to like make lots of disclaimers on your own life anytime you do anything anymore. 
so that's an, another new element of COVID, so that's fun. Every time you, like, go anywhere or do anything, it's like, I wore a mask, I wore gloves, which makes sense. That's what you need to be doing. But still, it's like, disclaimer. Um, and then going to get some groceries, and that's it. And then go back to the house of Benem for months. <laughs> like I said, we're getting through it. We're going to be good. So what's a way that this pandemic has changed you for the positive? The hot seat. <laughs> um, changed me for the positive. I you take the right exit. That's not something I've changed. Um, I think that I've taken like more time to really like kind of examine myself. I've actually learned more about myself than I would have expected to learn. Honestly, enjoying the simple things is like one of the main things I've learned too. I have greatly learned how to enjoy like the outdoors and like sitting in a park and like literally laying there for hours, even though it's too hot right now to do that. That was an amazing four weeks of my life when the weather was good in Houston and we'll get four more weeks in fall and that's it because we only have like two months of good weather. But it was great that I learned how to just like really be in the moment more and really just appreciate what I have and that I'm so thankful for what I have in my life but um I've also learned like really like like what triggers my anxiety more like coming out of it now <laughs> like two days ago <laughs> I was super anxious like two days ago <laughs> like oh I've learned a lot <laughs> two days ago <laughs> but it's true because now it's in red uh, wait hindsight what? hindsight thanks oh my gosh um oh, I gotta get to the right Hold on. I'm sorry, the camera is blocking this here. Okay, so another question. Um, what are what is a good book you read, or books that you have read in the past before, you know, pre-pandemic yeah. that you'd recommend? So, I love this book called Better Than Before by Gretchen Rubin. It's about making your habits better. But I'm a big proponent during this time to also like chill on your habits and like not be as hard on yourself because that's also something that I had to do. Um, I would like not be as productive and then I'd be like, whoo, super overwhelmed that I didn't get done like 10 things that I wanted to get done today. I'm like, what am I doing at like home all day? Like, what have I really got to do and produce and try to like be right now? So that is a side note to this, but this book called Better Than Before um, it was recommended to me by one of my friends and like honestly the things that she says like when you're reading it you're like oh my gosh that makes so much sense as to why we struggle with creating new habits about just being better than before like literally it is exactly what the title is it's really cool because she did a lot of like research on happiness and like she has this whole book called the happiness project and i have actually not read that one yet but she's just a really cool person has really incredible insight and i would highly recommend that and then on the fun side um there are some books um, that I've read. There's this really good one. I can't remember the name of it now. Um, definitely like young adult romance because when I'm not reading like a self-help book, I'm definitely reading the opposite of that, which is like young adult romance. <laughs> no help. Kind of the same story each book. A little bit different, but it was really, really good. I'll get the name. Hold on. Got people waiting on me to know what young adult book they need to read. Hold on. Let me let me pull it up. And actually, it was. I'm getting so many confused. Yeah, it was free on um, Kindle, so yeah. But it already was like recommended to me by Goodreads, not a person <laughs> by Goodreads. Um, it's called Back to You by Priscilla Glenn. So good. I think this is it. Yeah, this is it. Um, I read a lot of books that this is like probably so bad. It's like songs on Spotify you know how like you'll listen to a song like over and over and you're obsessed with it but then you may not even know who the artist is or the title of it just because you never really took the time to look maybe that's only me I don't know but um but I read a lot of like kind of similar books so like I'm like I can remember the story and I'm like oh yeah that was so good but I'm like I don't really know the name or the author which is really bad of me need to get better at that um comment down below if you were late because I'm feeling kind of alone right now um anyways so those are two books that I would highly highly recommend can't um I think there's another one but yeah I'll leave it at that for now about to go into Target so I've got handy dandy 
don't worry, I get to cover up my croissantness today. Do it the right way, over the nose. Gotta make sure the hair still looks good. We're ready. I think I'm actually seeing a, um, a unicorn in the Target. It's like the rarest form that you could ever see. It's freaking Purell. What is this? What is this? How did I get it? What? So just got my shopping done at Whole Foods and um, got this amazing juice. I've never tried this one before, but it's so good. It's got oranges. It's hard to see on here, but oranges, apples, grapefruit, ginger, and lemon. And it is so good. Um, it's got like the perfect like sweetness and, and also like spiciness and tanginess. It's so good. All right, headed home now from Aaron's on a Thursday, Thursday errands. Um, I actually love that about working from home because you're able to like step out and get some stuff done and then go back home and get more work done um, or get your stuff done early and then go out after that. Like it's just fun to be able to, you know, kind of order your day how you want to order it, which is like so nice to have that flexibility. So I am so blessed to have that job where I work from home, but going home now, i um, going to unpack the groceries get some work done and then I'm not really sure where the rest of the night will unfold but I'll show you guys take y'all with me show you what I'm up to all right see you in uh, just a few minutes because about to be home Sometimes in life, you just need to eat some of the things you just went out to get. But of course, I'm not going to go eat the apple or the cherries. I'm going to eat the Ritz bits and the fruit roll-ups because, duh. You know, duh. child with my eating like a school pack of my Ritz bits and for real. Yep. I am definitely not 26. I'm six and mom just packed me lunch. We have Chang's is right down the road that way. As I gorge myself on Ritz bits and yeah they don't be full. No. Oh. No. Definitely not full. I'm just saying, like, I am definitely piggish right now. Okay. Thank you for calling PF Chang's. For reservation, order takeout or pickup curbside, please hold on the line and someone will be with you shortly. Your call is very important to us. PF Chang's, if I can help you. Hi, yeah, I want to place an order for curbside. Sure, one second, please. Okay. Um, I'm going to get an order of six crab wontons. And then also, can I get um, your Kung Pao chicken? 